The automatic transfer switch ATS is a critical system component of the emergency power system, and proper maintenance of an ATS depends on the type of switch and its position in the critical power infrastructure. It is essential to find out whether your ATS is within manufacturer's specifications during a planned examination, so that you don't run the risk of finding this out during an unforeseen outage and you are unable to switch your system to its secondary power. Three primary reasons why monthly automatic transfer switch test is required. A test is an active demonstration that the ATS is still able to function as intended. An automatic transfer switch is an electromechanical device with moving parts. Like the pistons and crankshaft in an automotive engine, the moving parts in an ATS can seize if they're left in one position for months or years. Regular exercise will help ensure that moving parts will continue to operate smoothly. A transfer switch test transfers building load onto the generator for the duration of the generator test. Most standby power generators of more than 100 kilowatts are diesel engine driven, and all major diesel generator manufacturers recommend a load of at least 50% of maximum capacity during monthly generator tests. NFPA requires the same thing, for the simple reason that running under a light load is very bad for a diesel engine. What is done during an automatic transfer switch test, following steps are performed, simulate loss of normal power. Return to normal power. Simulate loss of emergency power. Simulate all forms of single phase conditions. What is done during automatic transfer switch testing? Few of the steps in ATS testing and QTs, contact to pole resistance test, settings and operations verifications, control device examinations, manufacturer standards and specifications checks, calibration services, tap connections re resistance measurements, verifying engine start sequence, time delay and retransfer functions checks, mechanical parts inspections, anchorage and groundings review for impairment or damage, corresponding parts are properly lubricated and clean of debris or contaminants and many steps more. ATS testing checks include, check wiring and connections are tight with no discoloration of metal, melted plastic and odor indicating excessive heat. Verify external operating mechanism is clean and re-lubricate if found dirty. Check for any deterioration of wiring insulation such as cuts and abrasions. Replace or repair any damaged wiring. Check tightness of wiring connections. Retighten to specification if any loose wiring found. Perform insulation resistance tests on all control wiring with respect to ground. Perform a contact pole resistance test. Verify settings and operation of control devices. Calibrate and set all relays and timers. Verify phase rotation, phasing, and synchronized operation is required by the application. Check ATS main power switching contacts condition. Clean or replace. Replace contactor assembly if necessary. Exercise the generator set under load. Test the transfer switches automatic control system. Test all indicators LEDs and all remote control systems for operation. Inspect the outside of the transfer switch for any indication of wear, excessive vibration, leakage, high temperature, contamination or other deterioration. Verify all external components are in place, firm, tightened and, and not excessively worn. Inspect the inside of the transfer switch for any indication of excessive vibration, leakage, high temperature, contamination or any other deterioration. Verify all internal components are in place, firm, tightened and not excessively worn. How ATS testing is done, ATS is a pretty simple device. It senses power source and behaves according to how it's set up. Generally it defaults to generator, so with no power all three contacts, 30 amp or four contacts, 50 amp should measure closed and electricity will pass from one contact to the other. Process of acceptance testing and maintenance testing standards for your ATS are based on NITA acceptance and maintenance testing standards. Automatic transfers should operate in accordance with manufacturer's design. A general procedure for functional testing of an automatic transfer switch and standby generator is described below. To begin the test, the normal source circuit breaker is closed. The switch controller will illuminate the utility available LED if equipped when correct voltage is sensed. If the ATS mechanism is set on source 1, the source 1 position LED will also light. The phase-to-phase -phase voltages at the utility line terminals is verified. Next, 
the alternate source breaker is closed and the engine generator is started. The S2 alternate available LED will illuminate when correct voltage and frequency levels are sensed. After both sources have been verified, the engine generator is shut down, and the generator generator's start control is put in the automatic position. A utility outage is generated by opening the source 1 normal side breaker. The delay to engine start timer begins its timing cycle. After the timer has completed its timing cycle, the engine start contacts close to start the generator. When generator voltage and frequency reach the preset restore points the source 2 available LED illuminates. Simultaneously, the delay to generator timer begins its timing cycle. When the time delay is completed the ATS will transfer to generator, the S1 position LED goes off, and the S2 position LED illuminates. System shall transfer in no less than 10 seconds where failure of the equipment to perform could result in loss of human life or serious injuries. Source 1 breaker is closed again to re-transfer to the normal source. The delay to utility timer begins its timing cycle. When the timer has completed its timing cycle, the ATS will transfer. The S2 position LED goes off, and the S1 position LED illuminates. The delay engine stop timer will begin its timing cycle. The generator runs unloaded for the duration of this timing cycle. When the timer completes its timing cycle, the generator will stop. The S2 available LED goes off. A minimum time delay of 5 minutes is provided for unloaded running of the EPS prior to shutdown to allow for engine cool down NFPA 110. The minimum 5 minute delay is not required on small air cooled prime movers 15 kilowatts or less. A field testing label is applied in accordance with NFPA standards indicating that the transfer switch is electrically and mechanically sound and suitable for service after completing all tests. Automatic transfer switch tests includes mainly three steps. The visual inspection, the electrical tests and the operational or functional tests, visual and mechanical inspection, verify mechanical and physical. Verify alignment, anchorage, anchorage, required clearances, and grounding. Verify the unit is clean. Verify appropriate lubrication on moving current carrying parts and sliding surfaces. Verify that manual transfer warnings are attached and visible. Perform manual transfer operation. Check positive mechanical interlocking amid alternate and normal sources. Electrical tests, with respect to ground execute insulation resistance tests on control wiring entirely. Perform a contact pole resistance test. Verify settings and operation of control devices. Calibrate and set all relays and timers. Check phasing, phase rotation and synchronized function as needed. Perform automatic transfer tests, simulate loss of normal power. Return to normal power. Simulate loss of emergency power. Simulate all forms of single phase conditions. Verify correct operation and timing of the following functions, normal source voltage sensing relays. Engine start sequence. Time delay upon transfer. Alternate source voltage sensing relays. Automatic transfer operation. Interlocks and limit switch function. Time delay and retransfer upon normal power restoration. Engine cool down and shutdown feature. NFPA 110 has the following rules stated in terms of automatic transfer switch testing operational inspection and testing. EPSSs, emergency power supply systems including all components, should be exercised under load at least monthly and inspected weekly. If the generator set is used for peak load shaving or for standby power, such use should be recorded and should be allowed to be replaced for scheduled functioning and testing of the generator's generator set. Transfer switches shall be operated monthly. The periodic test of a transfer switch should constitute of electrically functioning the transfer switch till the alternate position from the standard position and returning. How is automatic transfer switch testing performed? General inspection The inspection work should be conducted externally and internally on the transfer switch. External inspection The transfer switch should be kept in good condition by performing a weekly overall examination of the unit. This inspection must consist of inspecting for signs of excessive heat, vibration damage, any level of deterioration, any leakage or contamination. Any accumulations of dirt or dust must be removed. 
Dirt, dust, and any other contaminants should always be removed from the outside and inside with a vacuum cleaner, dry cloth or brush. One should not use compressed air to blow away contaminants and dirt. This can result in debris being lodged in components resulting in damage to the switch. If the inspection exposes damaged or loose com components contact a trained professional to perform the repair work. Any worn, broken or missing external sections must be substituted with manufacturer's recommended components. Contact the local authorized distributor or dealer for the specific part number to order. Internal inspection, all power sources must be turned OFF before any internal inspection. Verify to see if any external glitches found have disturbed internal components while opening the switch door. A trained service technician must be called to perform any service work. If any of the following conditions are detected, dirt, dust, moisture and other contaminants accumulating on the surfaces of the unit and components, any signs of corrosion loose, missing or broken components, deterioration of wiring or insulation due to cuts, abrasion, or wear, indications of overheating due such as melted plastic, discolored metal, or burning odor, any other evidence of damage, wear or malfunction of the transfer switch and its components, only a trained technician must carry. Out internal service work and inspection on a standby system that doesn't permit power interruption in the course of required inspection. Inspections beyond visual inspections, when inspections are internal or more than just a visual inspection by the operator, they should be performed by an authorized distributor or dealer under a scheduled preventative maintenance agreement. Have an approved dealer or distributor replace or repair all damaged internal parts with the manufacturer's suggested components. Disabling the generator set, accidental starting can lead to severe injury and even death. Safety measure must be acquired chosen to prevent the generator set starting in the course of maintenance by a remote start stop switch, an ATS, or another remote start engine command. A four operating on the generator set or any of its attached parts, like the transfer switch, detach the generator set as follows. Move the generator master switch to the OFF position, disconnect the power to the battery charger, remove battery cables starting with the negative lead first. Transfer switch automatic control system testing. The transfer switch automatic control system should be tested monthly. The test should verify the following. The necessary sequence of functioning happens when the load shifts to the emergency source which results in primary source failure. Verify indicator LEDs on the transfer switch operates properly. Watch an eavesdrop for any unnecessary vibration or noise in the course of operation. Finish the test once the switch transfers the load to the standby source and check the foreseen sequence of operations happening as the transfer switch shifts the load to the primary power source and signals the generator set to turn OFF later or after a cool down period. Check if the time delay in the OFF position works while load is transferred to the standby source and transferred back to the favored source in the case of systems with program time transitions. Precautions, inspection and cleaning before doing any work on the transfer switch to energize all sources of power. The switch must be checked for any moisture, dirt, or dust and must be vacuumed or wiped with a soft brush or dry cloth. Do not use a blower since debris may become lodged in the electrical and mechanical components and cause damage. Any surface deposits must be removed with a clean cloth. Benefits of automatic transfer switch testing, uninterrupted electrical supply, provides efficient switching to generator power, ensures safety, faster connection.